Welcome to XPW TV. We are just one week out of what promises to be the biggest night in XPW history, live from the Grand Olympic Auditorium, Saturday night, January the 12th, XPW's New Year's Revolution, and Rivera... Who the hell are you? I, for one, chick, wait, am extremely excited Who are about the New Year's Revolution taking place only a week away. Chick, I understand tonight, Mr. Black, 
will announce more matches to take place next Saturday night. In addition to the match already signed on the dotted line between Big Grimes and New York. As a result of what we saw here last week on XPW TV. Chief. Uh, apparently, Rob Black uh, has a response for the Enterprise. Um, it, this week, they're going to have to face a legitimate opponent. I mean, of course, all the shenanigans we saw the past few, few weeks. Of course, week one, of course, we saw uh, Chaos defend the title against T.J. Rush's very own motivational speaker. And last week, we saw him defend the, the title against a female midget. I felt like I was watching an episode of Webster. And, and uh, this week, he will have to defend against a legitimate opponent, the XPW TV title, this, this week. For one, Chick, I am sick and tired of the Enterprise, their shenanigans, as to say. Last week, the week before, bull crap opponents, Chick, in the middle of the ring. This week, the Enterprise has guaranteed to bring a legitimate heavyweight contender to face chaos. Uh, Fans, that, that match we're going to see here tonight, the, the TV title will be on the line, as well as the main event from Retribution, as Webb defended the XPW World Heavyweight title against a mystery opponent, and after the match, all hell broke loose. Fans, don't touch that dial. Who the hell are you? You, you, Larry? No. down to Soul Expressions Tattoo in Temeca. Versatile and creative work applied by award-winning professionals using the latest technique and sterilization available. Safety and satisfaction are our number one concern. There's no better gift than a Soul Expressions gift certificate, and we accept all major credit and ATM cards. If you're a victim of bad judgment, we also specialize in cover-up work. Soul Expressions Tattoo in Temeca, 909-296-5065. Fans, fans were back. Oh, did you see that co that commercial? They're revolutionary indeed. Close, Fo focus, Chico, focus. Fans, we're just one week away from the big show, uh, January the 12th, live at the Grand Olympic Auditorium at 8 p.m. as XPW presents New Year's Revolution. This is the show that promises to be the biggest show in XPW history. Folks, tickets are still on sale right now as we speak. Call the XPW box office, 818-755-8757. Come on down, down to the, down to the uh, office yourself, located at 11133 Van Owen Street, Sweet Letter D in North Hollywood. Go to xpwrestling.com. Tickets available also through Ticketmaster. Call them up, 213-480-3232. Go to Ticketmaster.com or any Ticketmaster outlet here in the Southland, folks. This is it. We are one week, one week away, one week from tonight, Saturday night, January the 12th at 8 p.m. What a sh show it's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words for more reason than one. New Year's Revolution XPW presents the big one, uh, January the 12th at 8 p.m. from the Grand Olympic Auditorium. Now tonight, fam. We are taking you back to Retribution for the main event. 
featuring Wayne. Wayne accepting the challenge of a mystery opponent. But what we did not know at the time, Jake, was that a match that took place earlier on that evening would have a great impact on the main event that night. Let's go back. i show you what I'm saying. Who are you? Super Dragon on his way to the ring, accompanied by Excalibur. And what a match this should be. He's going to be going against a guy by the name of Disco Machine Rivera. What a battle this should be. Disco Machine, Excalibur, Super Dragon. What is this bullion and the, the wizard? The Nintendo game, this, what is this shit? When I grow up, it was John Dolph, Greg Parker, Ruth Sabatino, real, real game, real character. This is Super Dragon! Talk about high flyers, Rivera. Here's a couple of experts right here in the ring. Next thing you know, Casper, the friendly ghost, is going to come flying out from this guy. Casper, the, are you seeing more Olympic auditorium? Goes from the past again, Rivera? Oh, that's another story, Chico. Another, another story. story. We're talking about the Gorman and Goliath. The Gorman and Goliath. What? What is this? Oh, you get to. Oh, my God. I'm talking about this is the disco machine. What is with the outfit? Accompanied by the Amer American Wild Chuck. What is with the pelo? He's looking like he walked by a nuclear power plant and something happened to his hair. Look at this, uh, the disco machine, he's got his, his very own disco ball, and what is he, a little shucking and jiving over there, Rivera? I don't know about that, moving the hip like that, Chico, that's a little, if you have the children in the room, take them to another, another, out of what, Oh, look at this, what is it, American Wild Child, holy, wait, wait, wait. he can boogie. He's booking on down, as they say. Staying alive, Rick. Staying alive. Of course, the American Wild Child holding those, what, what you call rave sticks, dog. You can see those down at the club, dude. What These a... guys, you know, they tend to, to go the style of the Lucha Libre, you know, fantasy character, superhero kind of dragon kind of character, this kind of crap. You ask me, Chico, let's bring it back to the you know, say what you want about the appearance, but wait till they wrestle, Rivera. That's some time. Look at this, Excalibur now getting into the face of Wild Child and Disco Machine. Rip Hawk. Should be extraordinary, Rivera. Extraordinary match. We've seen these guys in the past, and they never seem to amaze the audience with the move and the crazy characteristics. Now it's American Wild Child still in the ring along with his partner. Well, not in this matchup, but his buddy Disco Machine. And of course, in the corner of Super Dragon, you've got to be talking about Excalibur. And these guys have all been down the road together. A packed house here at the Olympic Auditorium as this match is about to get underway. Paul Neville tie up arm ringer now. From Super Dragon onto the Disco Machine, a counter by the Disco Machine. And look at this. Look at this, another beautiful, counter. Beautiful chain, a tire rest, big elbow from the machine. And the Dragon counter with a kick, beautiful snap man. Oh, and look at this. Oh, you see that disco machine anticipating that drop kick. He leaned back and dodged it beautifully. Very well conditioned. These two very sharp with the reflex. The disco machine and the super dragon kick. Super dragon disco machine. And don't forget about both men now in the corner of each man. Calling up a tie up. Going after the arm now. This super dragon onto the disco machine. And look at this, a counter coming up perhaps from the disco machine. Arm drag takeover. Well, look at that, attempt on another arm drag. And then dodge it. 
the Super Dragon. Oh, look at this. Into another arm drag from the Disco Machine. And look at the showboating Rivera. What do you expect from a character named Disco Machine that comes out with dancing to his own disco at ball? Get to get it, bro. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Excalibur, look at this. From the top, from behind. Wow. Whoa, he just caught him with the knee right to the back of the neck. Double knee, double knee to the back. That was tremendous power impact to the back of Disco Machine. Now this match becomes, now I, I lose in respect. Oh, look at this, Rivera, look at the pressure they're putting. I lose in respect for these guys. I thought this was not going to be a clean match. Well, it's definitely not Don't clean right now. It. Oh, look at that beautiful drop kick. And another baseball sliding drop kick from Excalibur on the ring apron, right to the face of the disco machine. Now look at outside this, the battle of the second as Excalibur attacking American Wild Child. Only two right there. Near fall right there from Super Dragon onto the Disco Machine. Wait a minute, look at this, Super Dragon saying it's all over. Luis Descent on attempted, but it was blocked by the Disco Machine. Very alert, very reflex, sharp, blocking it with the knee. He got those knees up off the ropes, Disco Machine with a huge clothesline, and he drops the big elbow on his Super Dragon. Going for the pin now, referee down one, two, near fall right there. Good. These two guys putting on another display of high impact, high power maneuver. Very unlike Super Dragon begging for the disco machine to stand off. If you uh, look at uh, once again the shaking jive and going upstairs. Oh, look at that! Double knees to the chest, front slam, beautifully executed for the disco machine on the Super Dragon. More shaking and jive in Rivera. Well, look at that twisting sent time. One, two, only two. That choking and jiving is costing the disco machine a lot of valuable time. Wow, big forearm. These are stiff for very, you can hear from the announce table here at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. Chops now, exchanged by both men. Shots to the head from Disco Machine on the Super Dragon. Holding, did you see Excalibur there? Pulling the Disco Machine out. Oh, look at this. Wow, backfire. The double team backfired. And look at that. You can see, I believe, the disco machine is bleeding on the back of his head, Rivera. As the American Wild Child double team now. On the, wait a minute. Disco machine from the top. Look at this. High cross body on the both end. High altitude. Did you see the elevation, Rivera? 12, 15 feet. Pesca, pescaru. Pescaru. That's what that was. A pescado indeed. Beach and the bird, pescaru. Once again, you can see the blood flowing from the back of the head from none other than the disco machine as Super Dragon Excalibur. I mean, they're laid out with her. Firing Super Dragon back into the ring now. Disco machine with the upper hand. Very groggy now. Look at Super Dragon. He's barely getting his feet. Oh, look at that front Japanese-style drop kick from the top rope. Beautiful style. These guys taking out to the Japan like the Kobachi. Misawa with that drop kick from the top rope. Once again, a near fall right there. Only two, Rivera. And Super Dragon just barely kicked out. Once again, with the upper hand of this match, the Disco Machine. But it's been going back and forth, Rivera. Into the far side now. Disco Machine firing Super Oh, kick right to the face. Oh. Right to the side of the head. And Sigur. Right to the side of the head. Desperation from Super Dragon. And look at that. Wait, going for a slam. But wait, oh, it's Super Dragon. Did you see the impact, Rivera? No. Casi le, uy, casi le quitó la cabeza. I mean, he came flying feet first right into the face. And I think this machine is knocked unconscious. Incredible. Another incredible match here on the XPW Olympic Auditorium. Retribute. This has Good. turned into a phenomenal match, Rivera. As the fans on hand are in a hushed silence, enjoying it all. Wait, power slam right into the turnbuckles. I've never seen that before, Rivera. Machine debilitated. Oh, wait a minute, look at Excalibur. Did you see that? Excalibur put, put Super Dragon's foot on the rope. Did you see that, Rivera? I don't understand that, man. Obviously, How is that? Obviously, he got that by the referee. Irish hook, no. Connor from Super Dragon. He pulls back, belly to back. Oh, look at this, into a power bomb. One, two. Oh, was that close, Rivera? That was close. Only two. 
I can only referee, no see him put in the foot. I saw it clear as day. Hey. Clears, you're sitting next to me, pal. Look at this. Oh, he spinning heel kick right to the back of the neck from the top rope. What you up? know that, that machine is already injured in the back of the head. That's right. And this could be it right here. One, two. Oh, he just barely got out of that one as well. How are these guys kicking out Rivera? These guys train hard, work hard, dress hard, kick. What a match. The only way to do it. And now some of the martial arts expertise coming out from Super Dragon. Oh, wait a minute. He looks like he's going for the cycle driver. And did you see where the disco machine landed? One, two, three, it's over. Boy, that was a very high risk. Dangerous maneuver to win Romper it with the hueso con eso. And you know what? I mean, Dragon, he gets so much ability, yet he has to cheat at the hands. What is this? Oh, that's the vice president of the Rivera fan club. And of course, Excalibur, Ex I mean, he has to cheat with his buddy Excalibur there. But he has, so oh, yeah, he's got so, look at this. John with the fans here, with a female. Yeah, fan. Hey, gosh. Ah, what a match that was, Rivera. That was an incredible match, as you see. America Wild Child tending to the, to the batter, completely torn apart, the almost, disco machine. The almost lifeless disco machine. Incredible. What Dude. a battle. What a battle. So Super Dragon beat the disco machine, and like every other night, we saw these high-flying luchadors. We thought that it would be the, the, the last time we would see him at, at, the, at the show. Uh, but what went down next, we were all shocked at the results. Let's take a look. Cheat! us wink wink and telling everyone no one's following us and with the the calls and the cars and the it's me level with me what the hell's going on <sighs> all right all right all right okay all right okay you know like okay like last night was like the national championship Mm -hmm. Miami, Nebraska? Yeah. All right. I had the game over. I'm off a little. Over what? Over 54. It was like 51. But th 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 there's no reason for that. Okay, listen to me. Okay, you know how I like a little sports gambling? Yeah. All right, nothing yeah. wrong. No. You know, completely legal. Yeah. You know? Um, okay. Well, I kind of owe some people some money. All right? I owe people money. But I owe them like, uh, you know, uh, just like so, old, so old. not a lot. I mean, what, like 10, 20? 10, 10, 20. Oh, it's not that bad. 10, 20. Yeah. No, like 10, like, like, like three, four hundred, you know. Three hundred dollars. Thousand. But that's not important right now, all right? That's not important right now. And I, like, I, and I haven't, like, like, you know, like, paid in, like, you know, like, three, four hundred. You know, I, I mean, okay. like, you know, so I haven't, you know, like, you know, maybe, maybe six months. But, um, all right, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't given them anything in, in, in like, I don't know, eight, nine months. And this is, this is, this is why they call me? Too a little upset. And I suppose these aren't like, you know, the guys that play, you know, with the, with the cups and the gambling on the corner, probably not. Huh? No, no. So, anyways. And then they know who I am? Uh, yeah, but you work for me. You don't have nothing. So don't worry about it. Okay, so henceforth. We, okay, so. Put a mask on. All right. And now listen to me. Is that your mask? You don't need a mask. Now listen to me. 
I want you to do something for me later on. What? You and don't worry about it. I need you and Web and Angel. Do go see if anybody's over there. Eight months? Okay, like a year. Jesus. It's only like three or four hundred thousand. What's the difference? No, you know what? It's been so good being able to spend time with you. I've needed to get away from work anyway. You know, I worked too hard. It's been really great. It's been a good opportunity for us to rebuild what's been broken. Yeah, I'm glad you think so too. But listen, I don't want your feelings to get hurt. I don't want you to worry or anything because this week I'm going to be really busy. I have that thing on January 12th coming up. Yeah, and I need to set up things. Okay, so, you know, don't stress out if you don't hear from me too much this week. Will you be all right? Okay, good. Good, I'm so glad you feel that way. I was hoping you would say that. Okay, then, I'll see you there. Good, I knew you'd be there for me. We've got your attention, Saturday, January 12th, Extreme Pro Wrestling returns to the Grand Olympic Auditorium for New Year's Revolution. Come witness the shocking debut that will change XPW and pro wrestling forever. For tickets, call Ticketmaster or log on to XPWrestling.com. Saturday, January 12th, XPW presents New Year's Revolution. All right, here we go, Rivera, our main event here tonight from downtown Los Angeles for the Grand Olympic Auditorium. The XPW title is on the line. The question is, who will Webb, that's what you call him now, just Webb, who is he going to be defending against? And there he is right there. We've seen him for weeks now with this, this very strange getup. Of course, we, we all know him from the beginning as White Trash Johnny Webb. Now he's coming out with the uh, with the Aloha from Hawaii CD going on. Coming a long way, this Johnny Webb, now known as simply Webb. I, I heard it again. Webb. You know what? Hey, 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 so look at this. You see with Clarence as the, the stepping a tone. And that's and that's stepping a tone to the ring. That's his apparent cowboy Clarence. XPW World Heavyweight Champion Webb in the ring right now. Along with Rob Black. Oh, your mother. F your mother, you. F oh, yeah. Is he not? He's not talking to you, is he, Rivera? Now the time you all f been waiting for. We're going to defend the XPW World Heavyweight Championship. Now, I present to you the mystery opponent. Rivera, this better be good. But who is it? Wait a minute! That's Excalibur! We so, saw her! So earlier that tremendous performance by, by Excalibur, even though he wasn't in the match, he was the second to the a Super Dragon. This is what this guy put on. A tremendous per I am not surprised. I am that very this, surprised that, that Rob this is the, the special military opponent. I am very surprised. I mean Rob Black put a guy with the credentials of Excalibur in the ring. I mean this to me, he's a worthy opponent. But Webb, look at this this martial arts apparently coming into play here. He looks at maybe he's a little tired from the match. Well, of, well from earlier tonight. Well, he really didn't wrestle in a match, but he was involved in that match earlier tonight between Super Dragon. Ah, the Iron Claw. Look at that, the Super Claw, Iron Claw. Wait, made made famous by Fritz on Eddie. Well, Webb. And then his little little boy Eddie Jacob, rest in the peace. Webb really going after the now number one contender for the title, Excalibur, here tonight. And I still can't believe he's the opponent, Rivera. Excalibur goes down. This, is, this, this guy, is, is, he was on fire in that Super Dragon match, but now he's... What the hell is this? What happened to him? Yeah, baby. Wait a minute, he's still... Something's fishy going on here, Rivera. Was he paid off? What's going on? Keep on telling you, he was exhausted. Exhausted? From you... his participation. You can't tell me he was that... In earlier match. He can't... He couldn't have been that tired. He couldn't have been. 
This is could have been as good an opponent as anybody. As good as an opponent? I think RCG can do a better job than this guy. What the hell's going on here, Rivera? Some, yeah, something fishy going on around here. It smells like a lot of BS around here, Rivera. Wait a minute, do you know what's going on? All I know is that Webb has another successful world title defense under his belt. You're going to call that a world title defense? Oh, yeah. oh no, Chico, beating for the one, two, three. Wait a minute, the fans are standing up. Something's going on here, Rivera. And look at this, Rob Black going after Excalibur. What is going on, Rivera? Fine, he's getting that. Oh, he's getting Fine, and this Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh. The Sandman. No, maybe, uh, it's the master of the world's slowest running. The Sandman. Oh, 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 along with major guns. Sandman in the ring. Look at this, clearing everybody out. And it looks like he wants something to say. Webb wants no part of this drunken bomb. Talk about a worthy opponent, Rivera. Talk about someone who... Oh. No. Who should be getting a shot at the World Heavyweight title. The XPW Championship. The Sandman. It's Excalibur. I still couldn't believe. Look at this Sandman. Now going after Exc Excalibur. Wait a minute. He wants to take the mask off. We've never seen Excalibur before, Rivera. Excalibur going. He's a... Ah! It was... Can you believe it? It was... It's the dark color. Wait a minute. No. One, two. Oh, that was close, Rivera. Rob Black just hit Sandman on the head How with the many kindos. Time? How many times in the past have we yoked around about the dark color being the Excalibur? And the one time we did it, it was him! Rob Black nailed Sandman in the head with that kindo stick and web, almost got that fall, but Sandman kicked out at two, and the XPW title is now officially on the line! As Webb goes to work on the Sandman. He's got the title on the line, but I, I still can't believe that the Black Army tried to pull that ridiculous fast one up with Kevin Kleinrock, Vice President of Operations here at XPW, posing as Excalibur. I can't believe it, Rivera. Look at Yoni Webb getting ready to, to destroy the Sandman putting to use the Boon Chu the Boon Chu technique it's that he's using. Where is that technique? I don't see it in play at all right now, Rivera. Boon Chu as the Sandman, the man who I think is going to leave this building tonight, leave Los Angeles, California, with the XPW title around his waist as Webb goes crashing into the far side. I don't think Webb knew what he was in store for tonight, Rivera. Look at Webb. At the mercy of the Sandman. The Sandman now firing Webb out onto the concrete floor. Webb staggering. It looks like Webb wants no part. Is he going back to the locker room? That Webb. might be where he, he might want to go. Is he going to... Oh, look at that right on the concrete. I was oh, no, no. I knew this guy Rail was going to come into... Oh, yeah. Cuidado con eso. Guardrail just smacking Webb, I believe, and hit him right on the side of the head. The end of that guardrail there, the Sandman, going to work now on World Heavyweight Champion Webb. Look at this, he's throwing it into the ring, Rivera. The Sandman. Once again, the man who could walk out of here with the gold tonight. As referee Hernandez right there, checking out Webb on the concrete floor. Not for long, though, as the Sandman fires Webb back into the ring. I have to say that the Sandman has the tremendous upper body strength to get that car rail over the top rope, chick. Ahí está. Ready for... He's getting that ready. Put it in place. Webb now, once again, still at the mercy of the Sandman, the XPW champion. If you can... Oh, and look at Major Guns parading around the ringside fans. Yeah. Oh, look at this Irish whip reversal from Webb as Sandman goes up and over, crashing into that guardrail that he put up, setting up his own demise ultimately, Rivera. Chico, it's good that this mayor gone is at ringside because any chance of Webb having a technical match what is, would what be is, some man. Oh. Look at that. He, he has clearance for a water break. 
in the middle of his title defense, and it backfired. What is wrong with Webb? That's the new rule. Think of the new rule of the, the new title rule. Look at this Sandman having his way once again at the mercy to the Sandman is Webb, the heavyweight champion of the world. Chop now from the Sandman, and you can hear the impact, Rivera. My impact slap. And the Ricky Flair. And look at the eyes. You see the eyes looking very strange right there. The Sandman very determined in this matchup. He's been screwed one time, once too many before here in XPW. And once again, Webb out to the concrete floor. Of course, you remember back at Pico Rivera. He was screwed in that, in that night. Oh, look at that, right to the railing. I thought he was going to throw him through the curtain. Of course, what I was saying, Rivera, Sandman screwed last month at the Pico Rivera Sports Arena for Halloween in Hell 2. Now he wants revenge, and he's getting it as he throws the ladder into the ring. Look at that haircut. Big. What happened to him? What happened? What's looks happening? Like, looks like he got attacked by a bong on, on the Hollywood Boulevard. You're talking about... When he passed out from the week. You're talking about a little haircut from the Sandman. Look at Webb. I mean, this guy's changed the most. Oh, wait a minute, Bulldog gets oh. to the ladder. And look at Sandman. I mean, he's got his favorite toys in the ring, only two. Favorite toy. What, the violent crap? All of this, the ladder, of course, Rivera. Vintage Sandman right here. The ladder and the guardrail. Both, now he has both at his utility, at his utilization. Sandman going to work now with both weapons, setting them both up in the ring. As Webb is laying literally lifeless, Rivera. Literally lifeless, the title at stake. Just inches away from falling in the hands of the Sandman. Suplex on the guardrail. It's Sandman. Looks like Sandman caught the back of his head on the guardrail, Rivera. That's the high, high risk you take when you're involved with oh. the violent crowd. Oh. Oh. We got, oh, oh, look at this! Lizzie Borden and Major Guns! Look at this! Finally. A cat fight! Finally, Lizzie Borden getting the witch. She's been waiting for oh. all this time. All right, I, got, I think I got my wish as well, Rivera. Oh. Go! Oh. Go, guys! Wait a minute, Webb! Going after the Sandman from behind! DDT right into the guardrail! Where did Webb come from? Jake of the Sandman was pulling Lizzie Borden off the gun, and that's when Webb took him down, Jake. And Webb now for the pin, only two! What was that close? And I don't know how Sandman kicked out of that. I mean, you saw the DDT he received right into that guardrail from Champion Webb. And now Champion Webb saying it's all over with. These guys are both nuts, Rivera. I don't know who's crazier. Webb setting the guardrail now on the far side. Sandman just barely getting to his feet. As it's Webb now going to work with the upper hand of this matchup. Sandman from pillar to post. Oh, oh look at this reversal. Webb face first right into that guardrail. Going for the pin. One, two. Only two. What was that close? On the apron. Look at, look at the, the rover black is in possession of the, the Singapore king. The kindo stick exactly right, Rivera. As Sandman takes Webb down once again. Sandman going after that guardrail. Look at this, Rivera. How many times has this thing been utilized in the match? Draped right over the top of Webb. Sandman from the top, Ooh. top away from the top, on top of that guard rolling, and on top of Webb. One, two, it's over. We have a new champion. We have a new champion. What are you talking about? Sandman, he got the three. What are you talking about? This. We're waiting for the announcement. Look at this, Hernandez handing the belt to the new champion. The Sandman is victorious. Oh, rejoice, Rivera. This is great. The Sandman finally wow. getting his revenge. Oh, man. Rejoice when I get to dance. Ooh, Pachanga in there. Ooh, oh, it's real. Pachanga? Unbelievable, Rivera. And there he is, the new XPW champion. Rob Black arguing with referee Hernandez right now. What is this all about? You don't, you don't know, Jake. Know what? You don't know. Wait a minute. Rob Black's got a smile on his face, and so do you, Rivera. What the hell is going on? Hey, hey. Ah. No way. Ah. No. Ah. No. Ah. No. Ah. Okay, he had his 
I mean, first, Black and the Black Army try to put Kleinrock, Dorco Dude, over as Excalibur. And while their bo bo uh, bodies may resemble one another, it is completely ludicrous to compare their in-ring talents. 
you if you know what I mean. Uh, simply pathetic, totally pathetic. And then a legitimate competitor, an opponent, comes up for the XPW title in the form of the Salmon, and then Black pulls off some more BS, some more bull. If yeah, if you know what I mean. Uh, and then he says that the title could not change hands because it wasn't an official match. This is this is totally ludicrous. Oh, you mean Chico, Chico. The important things are the facts. Fact number one, Wayne is still a champion. Fact number two, there is now seems to be some tension between the Conan and the Sandman. Well, you, you, have, you have to look at both sides of the scenario. Of course, uh, K, K Dog beat Damian Steele to get the shot at the title, and of course, Sandman beat Webb at the, uh, the Retribution. You remember that? You, I, I was there, Chick. You were uh, sitting next to you, Chick. Oh, let, me, let me get through this here. Okay, it, 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 it's a sticky situation uh, determining who's going to get that title shot. And if you think that Rob Black is going to put Webb against both K Dog and the Sandman, you're dreaming, uh, Lip, Ch Chico. That is because Mr. Black is much too intelligent for that. And I am sure he will come up with a brilliant plan to bring honor and respect back to the Black Army and to the XPW World Heavyweight Championship belt. Well, you know, only if that was his New Year's resolution. But right now, I could care less about Black, the Black Army, or any resolution that he has. All I care about right now is XPW's New Year's revolution happening one week. From tonight, January 12th, at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. I mean, you got the Black Army. You got La Familia, dude. You got the Enterprise. New Jack, Vampiro, the Seaman, King of the Deathmatch Supreme, all looking to start the new year in dramatic fashion. All looking to make an impact one week from tonight in downtown Los Angeles at New Year's Revolution. Who the hell are you? Take. I predict. This year will be a big year for Mr. Robert Black, the Black Army, and for XPW. You know what? Screw you, whoever the hell you are. Screw your predictions. When we return, the XPW TV title is on the line one more time. I can't, I can't take this. I'm going, I'm going nuts. I'm getting out of here. I need my head examined. your attention Saturday January 12th Extreme Pro Wrestling returns to the Grand Olympic Auditorium for New Year's Revolution come witness the shocking debut that will change XPW and pro wrestling forever for tickets call Ticketmaster or log on to XPWrestling.com Saturday January 12th XPW presents New Year's Revolution all right, fans, welcome back. It is time for the XPW Television Championship match. Of course, Chaos, once again, will be defending against yet another mystery opponent. And of course, so many shenanigans have been going down here for the past few weeks. The first week we saw motivational speaker T.J. Rush, fellow member of the Enterprise, defending the title against that guy. Then we saw a female midget. Last week, unbelievable. He called that a successful title defense. I do not call that a title defense, period. But who is it going to be? Right now, we hear the music. We hear the music of chaos. Of course, the XPW TV champion. But where is he? Where is he? And who the hell are you? I am not a leprechaun! I 
I mean, who the hell, for one, is he talking to? Who the hell am I talking to? GQ money coming out here. Once again, where the hell is chaos?